All right, there we go. Check it out. New TV. And I know it's not a broken down computer that dropped off an airplane, but gotta start somewhere. Hey, what's up guys? Beyond Vox here and welcome to the Vox of Gaming. I hope you guys had a great gaming weekend. What have you guys been up to? Make sure to comment below. This is a show where I talk about all kinds of gaming that's going on right now. Some interesting and fun stuff, but also an indie game and a Kickstarter you may be interested in. Including giveaways and this week I'm going to be giving away Josh Welcher music. Now if you don't know who this is, he does tons of video game music, including the Scrolls music, the game that Mojang's making. So I'm going to have 10 winners picked today. Go ahead and comment below and make sure you're a subscriber and I'll pick you at random for tomorrow's show but all right guys let's get right into your gaming news all right the wii u if you guys don't get it it's selling out in a lot of places it looks like the pro controller that's coming out is going to have an 80 hour charge so you guys know the ps3 controller has a 24 to 25 so that's kind of awesome but don't throw away all your wii controllers just yet because it's not going to be backwards compatible with the old wii games so it looks like you may want to hang on to them. All right, guys, I'm very excited to talk about this next game, SimCity. I was at E3, interviewed the developer of it. Not to mention, we also played it while at Gamescom. Looking great. Now we finally get to find out what most of the disasters are. And we have a lot of the classics. Of course, the tornado, the earthquake, and then now we have alien abductions and meteors. Now, no matter how awesome your city is, these will cause a mass riot and panic within the city. We even saw the meteorite one first-handed as it ended the demo, destroying your town during the demo while at Gamescom. And don't forget, this releases in early 2013 for PC and Mac. Looking forward to it. And some quickie news now, some 2K Borderlands 2 news here. Gives us a new trailer for their expansion, Captain Scarlet's and the Pirate's Booty. Now, we've already covered it in the past two episodes of The Vox of Gaming. Just so you know, it's going to cost you $10 and less if you have the season pass. Speak! Speaking of which, Black Ops 2 looks like on the website they're going to have a season pass as well, but you only get four map packs for $50. Now, given that though, if you bought them all separately, you're only going to save $10, so not, not much. But now remember, this comes out on November 10th, so I'm sure we're going to see a lot of raging soon. Next up, some Skyrim rumors, and who doesn't love these, because usually they're right. They haven't been wrong yet. It looks like while a bunch of people are delving around into the code of Skyrim, they found a new possible DLC called Dragonborn. Now, Elder Scroll veterans may recognize this. It supposedly may be set in Solstheim. This was in the second Morrowind expansion called Blood Moon, if you guys remember that. Now, this is going to give you new characters, items, and armor types, just as any other DLC you would expect to have, including dragon mounts. That's right. If you guys remember, Bethesda had a game jam quite a while ago, and this is basically where all the developers made whatever mod that they wanted, and one of them was riding dragons. So in the span of one week, they made as many mods as they could, and it turns out a lot of them were coming out, like within Hearthfire. Now that video was linked below for you guys, so be sure to check it out if you haven't seen it yet, and just tell me with the community question today, is what expansion mod do you want to see next that they came up with? And we have a new video that came out to promote Deadpool the game, what merc with a mouth crashed New York's Comic Con? Well, Deadpool himself to promote himself. Now, I'll give it to him, though. This was a great costume as he just runs around doing a bunch of little skits here and there while cutting in between, jumping into the Marvel panel and just crashing it. Now, during this, though, we hear about the new Wii U Spider-Man and how it's going to release also with four DLCs. That's a rumor, though. I mean, we can't trust Deadpool, can we? All right, guys, time for your glitch of the day. I always love these. Now, I personally say that they should make Battlefield a glitch of the year edition. This is a another battlefield beta glitch and basically it's like what happens if you could shoot a tank with a rocket and it actually shot like a rocket into the air well what comes up must come down and this is a variety of glitches during beta now it's any time and this is a great one because we covered it months ago and it comes out tomorrow now this thing if you love terraria and those kind of games if you know what i mean then you're going to love this. It's called Under the Ocean, and it's a sequel from Under the Garden. This is all about your side-scrolling action that's very smooth, but it's more interactive. Rather than just clicking something once, you actually have to use your mouse and interact with tools. This includes using a variety of material and actual interaction with the environment. So you actually have to click and drag and move things, and you have to put them together. So it's a lot different than like Terraria or Minecraft where it automatically crashes it for you. This includes actually having to cook food by hovering over the fire and things like that especially when it comes to fishing now what's interesting though is that of course you can pay and do all these other methods but 
they're also letting you download the game for free now they already know that people are torrenting the game they're going to if they want to play it so the developers basically said okay here is a link to a torrent file if you want to download it and get it for free anyway so totally up to you but of course they said that this won't be helping them support the game and develop further ones now it's kickstarter time have you ever wanted to live in a world where your life depended on super combo destruction and you had a talking fanny pack bonus well this game is for you and it's called super combo man and that's your main priority is to destroy everything the fastest and timely combo man possible well that's the main part of the game where you try to do as many combos as you can all at once now this kickstarter is only asking for a modest fourteen thousand nine hundred dollars they're already at twenty two hundred and had 28 days left to go. Think like Super Smash Brothers mixed with Marvel vs. Capcom. This is kind of what you got. And an extra bonus, come on, the backing perks are pretty nice too. So if you guys want to back that up, it looks like they're going to make it anyway. So good luck to you guys. But alright guys, that's it for me. My eyes burn. I'm tired. I've been up all night. Which, if you're watching the Bebop Fox Gaming Channel, maybe why. Because I'm playing Just Cause and XCOM and... Minecraft and that's a lot of let's plays, but it's totally worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed that All right guys. Thank you for watching be sure to comment below and be a subscriber now Make sure to comment about that Skyrim mod or anything else that we talked about But I would love to hear about what you guys want to see put into Skyrim Especially some of these things that they did during the game jam, but that's it for me guys I am Bebop Vox. I will see you tomorrow for the Vox of gaming and see you in game